Hello guys, welcome to Survey Solutions on Bahan Channel where I get solutions to all your surveying problems. It's nine having in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to carry out Kriegen interpolation using um, QGIS, right? Good. And then we are going to use a plugin called um, Smart Map. Now, one thing to note is that you need to create what um, you need to save your project, right? Good. So it must be saved. And then your data set should be in a projected CRS, right? Good. So that um, the plugin can, um, can work effectively, right? Good. So having done that, let's come to plugins and then we go to manage and install plugins. So we search for smart map. So we have it here. It's interpolation using um, ordinary Kriegen and machine learning, right? Good. So I've installed. You can decide to click on install, right? Good. So now let's close. So to assess it, you can still come up to plugins, you see smart map, or you can see what the icon somewhere on your screen, right? Good. So you click to open. Now, when you have opened, you know, that um, directory from which you have saved your project, a new folder will be created called um, the Kriegen smart map, sorry, the smart map, right? Good. So that is where your output will be saved, right? Good. So if you don't want it that way, you can decide to still select and then modify it, right? Now in your layers, we have um, the point that we want to interpolate. So we call it elevation two. So then the field, which is the Z field, is what our altitude here, right? Good. So that's that. If we click on import, the point will be loaded and it's like an overview for us to see what the points that um, we have um, imported, right? Good. Now we can see some red colors. These can indicate some outliers because you see that the values of those points, the elevation values of those points are seemingly higher than the rest, right? Good. So that's a smart way to help you maybe go back to your data to validate why are those points, you know, been marked out. Then for the grid, you can decide to increase what your pixel size or maybe reduce it depending on the resolution or the fineness you want and then also your um, pieces processor right good then for the um, outline polygon if you have a polygon that you want to use to to indicate the extent of your interpolation you can decide to also import it so that's why we have this um, vector data and i think they all should be in the same crs good so it has been defined right good so the being in the same crs which means they have they both have to be in a what in a projected CRS, right? Good. So I will fix all of that. We can see what an overview of what the sample point, right? Good. So if we come up to interpolation, you can see um, the maximum distance, the lag, and then some other parameters, right? Good. So if you click on calculate, you would see what the variogram has been calculated you can decide to modify some of these values your maximum distance the lag especially you can also see the, what the different models we have the linear to seal the linear to seal and the linear IR. and we have the exponential you see the output as um, you click on the different um, models right good you see how it can modify what your output right good so this is how you can play with the parameters that um, this plugin, the smart map has what provided, right? Good. So you have your RM, you see that's the root mean square error, then the R square, right? Good. So you can also see the radius and then the number of labels that um, you want. You know, most of these values, you can definitely modify them to suit what the output you desire, right? Good. So I will fix some of these parameters. You can click on what interpolate. Good. So we have our output and then you can see the image here. Um, yeah, if you click on it, it is opened on what your image viewer, right? Good. So you can decide to save it or maybe go back and then do some modifications. Then when you are back to QGIS, okay, we can decide to close or maybe minimize. And then this is our, what our vector layer. Okay, let's bring this down. Good. So it is showing us what the Kriegen interpolation you can still decide to work on the symbology perhaps you know if you want to
good finally you can decide to show the labels so if you click on show label you can see the labels have been displayed right good so we have shown you how to or we have given you um a brief exposition on how to use what this plugin right good smart map plugin so you can explore and exploit um, all of the features to suit what the output of your project so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye